going to talk about X and Y. Um, you're going to learn how to code colors on a screen and how we do that, how to make a line, how to make an ellipsis. Uh, you're going to get to create a snowman. And yes, I want to break into a snowman. I know. So here we go. This is the worldwide uh, week for Hour of Code. We started a few years ago back um, as a way to get students kindergarten all the way through college coding uh, experience exposure to the field um, and so what we're doing in sixth grade this week is we're introducing the hour of code through Khan Academy and they are creating a drawing right now well in the world that we live in um, coding is part of everything that we do uh, almost everything is electronic nowadays and in order to be electronic there's got to be code somewhere involved in it and these are this is the future of, of technology right here these students are the ones that are going to create the next Facebook create the next Minecraft um, and so if I can get them a start in that and just show them that there's something else out there for them then um, that's I've, I've met my goal we're learning about hour of coding um, how to make images on the computer while using code. Um, just learning new things. How much coding have you done in a class like this before? Um, quite a lot. We're still growing. We all have room for improvement, but we're coding while having fun. We've done a website called Code Combat while coding and moving around into your avatar and fighting uh, ogres. People should take it and just give it a chance. Fun. It's a new curriculum this year, and so you know we're really focused on the technology side of things, and so we're about exposure. Um, sixth grade, we do, we did an entire week uh, to start introduction to coding, um, but week one, I introduced my some of my students to a, a game called Code Combat, and so they got to learn how to code, um, make their avatar move around the screen um, during any free time they had if they got a project done early. So. Um, in the rest of the grades, myself, I'm, I'm using it a lot, and I know a lot of their teachers are. So, um, depending on the level, um, it depends on the teacher. So, but they are getting exposure to it at all three levels. It's, I mean, it's just like any subject. You got those kids that like math, and you got the kids that don't, and you like the ones that like reading, and the ones that don't. So, I'm finding it's the same thing with this, um, but kind of similar to math. I mean, coding is just a big problem, and so once they get the solution to uh, to watch their reaction. Um, their facial expression, I mean, I've got kids just jump up out of their chairs and they've been stuck for a day. Um, absolutely amazing. You were telling me about a coding club that's getting started possibly today. Yeah, we have our first meeting, um, calling ourselves the Unconditional Loopers. Um, just some programming knowledge, or terminology. Um, not really sure, I know as of right now I've got 15 kids and I'm, I'm hoping to get more. Um, we are going to, we're going to use our code stuff. We are going to, I'm going to have them create their own website. Um, they're going to create my website for me, for the coding club. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that after today.